Star. A fishy called 51 Pegasi B. The planet is nicknamed Bellerophon in honor of the Greek hero who tamed the winged horse Pegasus. It is a planet that breaks all the rules. Bellerophon roasts in the blazing starlight at temperatures of roughly 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, almost 1,000 degrees Celsius. It is nearly 150 times more massive than Earth and is a gas giant like Jupiter. A gas giant is a planet made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Only the outer layers are gas, but inside, hydrogen and helium is compressed to huge, huge, huge pressures that doesn't resemble a gas at all. Unlike anything found in our solar system, this is an entirely new class of planet, what scientists call a hot Jupiter. If you go to Hawaii and see the lava flow there, that's how hot a hot Jupiter is. It's very, very hot. The Earth is a comfortable 93 million miles, or 150 million kilometers away from the sun. These hot Jupiters are roughly 100 times closer, and so the amount of sunlight that they give is 10,000 times larger. If this represents a star, and this a hot Jupiter, a hot Jupiter is three to four stellar diameters away from the star. So that would be one, two, three. This is how close a hot Jupiter would be to its star. Hot Jupiters are tidally locked. They present the same face to the star at all times, just like the moon does to Earth. It's going to be permanent daylight on one side and permanent nighttime on the back. If I were stuck on a hot Jupiter, I'd want to be on the back side and hope that some of the heat from the front side facing the star would make its way around the back. The variations in temperature make Bellerophon's atmosphere extremely windy. As the air is cooked by the star, it rises. Cooler air rushes downward to replace it, just as it does on Earth. <laughs> 